How's it going, everybody? It's me, your guy Waddles here. I'd like to apologize real quick. I'm sick, so that's why I sound different. Uh, uh, don't worry, though. I'm drinking lots of tea. <laughs> but today, I want to make a video about Minecon. Now, I was going to initially make this about my predictions and hopes. However, I had the idea to turn the tables around to you guys. A few days ago, I put out a tweet. I threw up a post on my Reddit. And then I also threw a message in the Discord asking for all of your hopes for this year's Minecon Earth. As you maybe know, or maybe don't, Minecon Earth is tomorrow, if all goes according to my schedule here. The footage here is just some random minigame footage. I hope you don't mind that. As always, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like. And today, I'd like you to go down below in the comments and tell me one thing that you hope is announced, or one thing that you think will be announced at tomorrow's Minecon Earth 2018. With that out of the way, let's just jump right into some of these predictions and hopes. Starting off with the comments from the subreddit 2015 Delta hopes that Minecon capes will come back. Totally, same here. I hope that would come back. However, I don't think it will come back. I do really miss the Minecon capes though. That was so cool, and I thought it was a cool way to show that, yeah, I've been around in the community for this long, and I went to this and that, you know. Now I know it's different. There's a whole live stream now, so. Maybe it's a little different, but I, I really miss Minecon Capes. I really like your trivia or whole idea or something or the whole randomly getting them thing. Uh, but yeah, Capes, I they should come back. I really, really miss them and they were so cool. Jumping over to a tweet from Eagle Builder Animations, because this is tied to the whole cape idea, Eagle Builder proposed an idea that, hey, maybe like there's a random selection and 1,000 players who enter get a cape. I think that would be really cool. That would be a nice way to do it. I kind of envisioned maybe something like there's five variants of capes related to whatever they're announcing at Minecon. So last year, there could have been, I don't know, a dolphin cape, a turtle cape, a kelp cape, a trident cape, and then, I don't know, one other cape, a drowned cape, right? And maybe everyone got a cape uh, that, you know, entered into something, but it was completely randomized. You wouldn't know what cape you're going to get, and you just kind of get the turtle cape, and that's that, or you get the drowned cape, and that's that. Capes should come back, though. I miss capes. Thank you, Cam, for quite the constructed response here. I'm just going to go over a few things so that we're in this response. Cam believes that they need a better way to get the community involved in Minecraft with the votes. And I totally agree that last year's mob vote was a little bit of a mess. It's very unfortunate that the three other mob ideas have been completely lost into oblivion. The water monster that was under the sea and would pull you under was so cool and would have been awesome to see alongside the update aquatic. The desert monster would be really cool to see implemented in a desert revamp, so I still sort of hope that these mobs maybe make a random appearance and come back, however, ah, uh, I just don't get it, right? They're just gone completely. Thankfully, with the biome vote this year, things aren't as permanent. We are voting for which biome we get first instead of which biome gets done. So I do believe that all of these features that have been teased will be implemented at some point. We're just voting for whichever one we want first, right? In case you're wondering what team I'm on, I'm still on Team Desert. The Desert needs the revamp the most, in my opinion. It's been in line the longest, so it should get done first. And palm trees are awesome. Palm trees are just so cool. But just like Cam, I have no clue what the meerkats will actually do. Again, thank you for these constructive responses and well thought out thoughts here, Kim. From the Discord, Ari Volte. They should add more mobs like elephants, giraffes, and zebra horses to savanna biomes and lions that attack you. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be awesome. A zebra horses would be so cool. It could just be a simple skin on a normal horse, but it spawns in the savanna. That would be so, so cool. And that's a mob I would totally vouch for. And evil lions, that would be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel as if Mojang never will, sadly. Poetic Valentine hopes that they implement the giant zombie that's already in the game because it's collecting dust, and I completely agree. We should be able to summon the giant zombie like we summon the wither boss. We should kill the giant zombie, and then we get something. 
I have no clue. Maybe a lot of rotten flesh. <laughs> no, hopefully something better. But little fun fact, for those of you who don't know, there is a giant zombie in the game. You can summon it in. Captain Varen hopes for a cave update with special mobs and abilities to make caving a little harder and such. Totally. I definitely would love to see a cave update. I would love a cave update. However, I hope they don't announce that this year. Ideally, I'm hoping for a smaller update with some other stuff in it that I'll get to before we get another massive update. Sometimes I do wish that Mojang took a similar route that Terraria took with the whole end game fight. It would be really cool to see more things spawning into your world, maybe a few different ores or something after you fight the Ender Dragon. Maybe these ores aren't better weapons or tools, but just decoration ores or something like that. We don't really have any of those in the game, or Mojang could try rebalancing the ores that we already have in the game, maybe fitting in one more class of weapons. However, I could see the community getting uh, quite stirred up about that, and I don't know if they're ready to do that quite yet. The Noble Sir Jagglington predicts that there will be plenty of great cringe moments at Minecon. <laughs> ah man, the memes, the memories, ah, uh, we need some more memes, totally. <laughs> MCEO Marox hopes for more mobs, especially animals, uh, or the caves, the cave updates. The cave updates seems like a really popular thing lately, totally though, totally. Uh, I, I'm in the boat of mobs having a point, though. If more mobs go into the game, I hope they do something cool or, you know, have a reason to be checked out. And finally, ending on this solid, solid thought from Arzibit MC, I hope this update releases early. Yes, same. <laughs> um, yeah, me too. Yes. <laughs> Just see us. And so those are all the viewer submissions and thoughts and hopes and expectations that I had. Thank you for submitting those. If you did, the big thing that I hope gets confirmed and is announced at this year's Minecon is the slab update. Sure, a cave update or something like that would be really, really cool. However, earlier in this year, the developers talked about adding in more slabs to Minecraft. When I think of slabs, I think of stairs, so I would hope that this update includes more slabs and stairs for building and decoration, kind of like they did with the Prismarine variant. Prismarine finally got slabs and stairs in the 1.13 update. The reason I'm hoping for this is because I believe this is an update that could come out relatively soon while Mojang starts to chug along on a bigger, maybe like a cave update or a massive world revamp update or something like that. I would totally love to see those, but I'd love to see an update soon. And so that's the video. That's a big hope from me and some hopes and expectations from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very different. Uh, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> and remember, tell me what do you think or what do you hope will be announced at Minecon tomorrow down below in the comments. Share your thoughts and you can expect some more videos from me covering what is announced and going over that type of thing later after the mind god <laughs> of course thanks for watching leave a like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't my name is waddles go have a good day goodbye everybody